Today I want to show you how to create a vase in the style of the Ming Dynasty with the blue and white porcelain. Here are a couple of examples. The one on the left you can see I covered with a white paint and then if you look closely you can see etching designs uh, drawn on it. The white acrylic paint is thicker on this one. On this one the quality of the paint I had was more watered down so make sure you don't add water to the paint while, when you do it. So I'm going to take you through step by step how to do it. First we're going to start with the black construction paper which should have come in your box. A piece of white chalk. The pastel box that was in your box will have a blue pastel so just take the blue pastel out. Then you will need the white acrylic paint. And I've just gotten a, a bowl out, a paper bowl where I can put my white acrylic paint in. There are templates in the Google folder if you want to look at different vase shapes. Even though we're looking at the Ming Dynasty, you don't have to use a Ming Dynasty vase shape. This is an amphora vase shape which has handles on both sides so that it could be easily lifted up. You can also look at the examples that were on the slides and some are on the Google folder of main vases. I'm going to draw the amphora vase shape with my white chalk. I'm going to start at the top. And I want my base to be symmetrical. And that's it, just the basic outline of the base. Now I'm going to take my white acrylic paint and put it in the bowl. I also need my acrylic brush. Set that aside. Uh, what I want to do first is color in or fill in the vase with my blue pastel. Now I've filled in my vase with the blue pastel and I started from the top to the bottom so that way I don't have to get my hands uh, full of the pastel and then sometimes there's excess you can just shake it off and now I'm ready for the paint so make sure that you don't have uh, much of the black of the paper showing that you fill it in real good. I'm going to paint right on top of that pastel with the white acrylic paint. So you want to give a good layer of paint so that you can't see the blue so it's completely covered. And you really only need one layer, so just one good layer. I'm going to get the largest areas first and then come back with a smaller brush to do the handles. So you just want to make it as smooth as possible. And I find that the white, um, the flat brush, the widest one, is the easiest to cover a big area like this. Just touching up to smooth out some areas. And now I'm going to switch to my smaller brush and I've got a smaller flat brush here. I'm going to work on the handles. And you can turn it so that it's close to the bowl so you don't spill the 
white paint on your paper like I did a little bit on the other side. Now I'm going to do the bottom base. And once I've touched up, then I'm just ready to wash my brushes and let this dry. Put it in a safe place, let it dry probably overnight, and then once it's dry, we'll come back and get our toothpick out, which I forgot to mention that we need to get your toothpick, and then we're going to etch it with the toothpick. Now that my vase is dry, I can get my toothpick out and start uh, carving a design or pattern. Here is my box of toothpicks. I've got one out. Make sure that you use these in your box. These are the extra long ones and they're a lot easier to use. And then I just have a picture set out that I'm going to use for reference. So I'm going to use the flowers one. You could do a plum blossom design if you wanted or you can look at some examples or make up your own design. So I think I'll start at the top um, and first I'm going to carve a line. And you can just brush off the excess paint that's been removed. And it should be very easy to carve with a toothpick. I just started to carve in this large branch of flowers here. And I'm going to make this one larger. So I want to vary the size of my flowers here. So this is more of a focal point. I'm going to have these two flowers overlapping. and more buds branching out and the branches get thinner just like they would if we were painting them. And then I'm just going to fill these two areas on the right and left. And I could add a few more embellishments if I wanted, but I think that I've covered most of my vase here. I'm going to shake off the excess of the paint that's been carved off. And that's my main vase.